what you're looking at right here is the Maxim 9. This is our second phase. Right now we're going through functionality and durability testing. What we're looking for is a holster bolt duty firearm. That's the end state. What we're looking for also is aesthetics. We want to make this durable, yet we want to make it elegant, able to be drawn. We're looking at some different functions here about possibly being able to we're going to be able to service it by removing these bolts. Nice. We're taking it out, being able to clean it, but we're also talking about like our Salvo and our Osprey Micro being able to remove these to make it shorter. Nice. That's not a for sure yet, but that's what we're looking for. Okay. Excellent. It's chambered in nine millimeter and runs on Glock Max. Excellent. So all the internals are back here in the pistol. That was a big challenge. We're right. doing an angry suppressed pistol, but we're way far along right now. It's time to start beating it up to make sure that it works. That's the fun part. That is the fun part. Excellent. All right, so the pistol itself, obviously the big news is the uh, integral suppression, but uh, what, what were you looking for with the pistol? What are the design you know, features you were going after here for operation? For operation, you know, we want to make it as simple to operate as possible. We don't make, right. want to make a complicated gun. You know, so that was a big challenge, is having all the internals shoved back into the into the back of the pistol. Absolutely. Right? Yeah, so, very unique design there. Yeah, springs are, are located here in the top of the slide. The operating rods, and here's your barrel. So those are the big challenges. Uh, getting everything pushed back into here. All right, folks, you saw it here first on Gear Report, SHOT Show 2016.